The two brain theory that paleontologists had regarding animals like sauropods and stegosaurus is one of the funniest, stupid myths I have ever been graced with to know about. So the two brain theory basically says that some dinosaurs like stegosaurs and the sauropods had such small brains relative to body size that there was no way they could control their back half without having some second brain or second nerve mass in their hip area to power it. This all stems from 19th century Yale paleontologist Othniel March who found that in stegosauruses the spine actually expands into a little cavity-like area right at the hips. To be fair to Mr. Marsh, at the time, all we knew is that Stegosaurus was a massive fucking animal with a tiny as fuck brain to power it. So how could it power its entire body without a second brain? So I can't entirely blame him, but that doesn't make it any less stupid now. But before I get into it any further, that theory is false. There was no second brain in the hip region of stegosaurs and sauropods. Didn't exist. Another interesting fact about it is that by the time stegosaurs really evolved and had established themselves, sauropods were already a thing, and the two groups of animals were generally unrelated to each other in the sense of evolution. And both of them had this enlarged area around their hips and their spines, which is a case of convergent evolution, where two unrelated animals develop a similar solution to the problem that they are being challenged with on the evolutionary scale. Also interestingly enough, birds have a similar thing in their spinal hip area called a glycogen body, which we don't really know what it's used for. The two theories that I see the most of is that it's used to store energy or it's used for balancing in flight. So it's likely that this enlarged mass in stegosaurs and sauropods was also a glycogen body given that birds are the direct descendants of dinosaurs and are dinosaurs themselves. And so it's possible that like in the birds, it could have been used for nutrients to draw upon in hard times or just simply for balancing purposes. But all in all, it was not a second brain and we're still not entirely sure what it was.